Hey everyone, I'm going to discuss my top five deep sleeper running backs that could make an impact at some point uh, in this fantasy football season 2021. Uh, so, you know, these are guys that you can pick up after pick 150 in your drafts and they have some upside, they could help your team down the stretch. Uh, I'll start with some kind of honorable mention guys and then I'll get into the top five. So, in no particular order, we got, you know, Ty Montgomery. You remember him from the Packers, you know, wide receiver turn running back. So, you know, he's got uh, some receiving skills. So, you know, he's kind of a handcuff for Kamara and Murray as well. Uh, he's in, you know, the Saints high-powered offense. He's in second year with the team. So, you know, if any of those guys should go down with an injury, he could be in line for some points for your team. Next up, we got Mark Ingram. I know it's gross, I know. But the Texans have signed every old back they could find. And, uh, you know, they're going to have to throw a lot of check downs. It's going to be important. Um, it's a brand new offense, brand new regime. So playtime might be determined, you know, is yet to be determined between Johnson, Lindsey, Ingram. And, you know, he's the cheapest of the three in the draft, right? So. That's what we're looking for, the upside, right? And, you know, he's got a leadership role on the team, so that could keep him on the field despite, you know, other people outplaying him. So, you know, that happens. Up next, we got Carry On Johnson. Um, you know, let go from the Lions, and now he's got a new spot on Philadelphia Eagles. You know, their offense has got, a, you know, a lot of questions. Um, are they going to be good? Are they going to be awful with Jalen Hurts under the center? Um, so, you know, he could steal some goal line carries from Miles Sanders. Um, you know, he might not be that good, but he could end up in a high leverage, you know, goal line role, right? Up next, uh, you know, a player that, you know, was on the lines to one that is now, so rookie Jason Huntley. Um, this guy... You know, he could end up getting some touches down the line for a bad Lions team as they evaluate. Uh, you know, and of course, if there's a, an injury to Williams or Swift is what we're talking down the line, right? Uh, you know, he's a shifty between the tackles runner. He's got decent hands. And he could succeed if he's given the right opportunity, uh, despite the Lions, you know, running. Not being good for, you know, Barry Sanders' days. But, you know, we'll get past that. So we're going to hop into, you know, kind of the top five here. These guys that could, you know, might have some league winning upside for you. Uh, or, you know, at least could be a good spot start, you know, on the bye weeks, right? So we got Keyshawn Vaughn. So Tampa Bay Buccaneers, high-powered offense. You know, he could end up playing a passing down role for, you know, Tom Brady in the style of, like, White or Woodhead. Um you know, second year jump for players getting some playing time in year one for Bruce Arians, who leans towards veterans, uh, you know, often shows, you know, good my progression from him. Um, you got Uncle Lenny and Rojo. Things have, uh, you know, gone, you know, okay with them, but, uh, you know, Vaughn's got some draft capital. Uh, and, you know, Gio Bernard is there now, but he's a bit of a lo roster clogger. And there, he's going to steal some touches. Um, we'll see what he has left in the tank. Uh, all the Shady McCoy last year, but uh, you know he's you know one player that could stand in the way of Vaughn getting some touches. But uh, he's got the profile, and you know he's a guy that you're going to want uh, in a high-powered offense should he get the opportunity, right? Up next, we have Elijah Mitchell. Um, you know, Trey Sermon's, uh, you know, the big big back at, that they drafted um, this year. So uh, you might think, you know, he might be a better sleeper. But, um, you know, the 49ers running game can get any guy in the position to score points with an opportunity. Uh, this guy's a burner. He can make my guys miss. Um, and they had a lot of injuries at the running back position last year. So you know that this guy can end up seeing the field at some point. Uh, so he's you know, high upside guy that you might want to stash on your bench, or if you're playing some best ball, uh, he has some chance to break out. 
Up next, we have Jared Dokes. Um, so, you know, he's a guy brought in by this new regime. Uh, can play a, a role as a power runner. Uh, this guy's a strong pass blocker, which could get him on the field a lot sooner than most rookies. Um, he ended, you know, this guy's got sure hands. He had over 400 yards receiving and four receiving touchdowns with no drops last year at Cincinnati. Um, and, you know, Miles Gaskin, the gas can, Salvin Ahmed. Um, you know, you can have some confidence in these guys, but you could see them wanting to get a look at one of these other players at some point. And, you know, injuries happen all the time, right? So, uh, Dokes is a guy to look out for on the Dolphins' offense. Next, we got Chuba Hubbard. Um, so, you know, he's CMC's main handcuff in Carolina there. Um, you know, if something ever happened to him, he'd get the lion's share of the work down in Carolina, and uh, he's got the skill set to put up points. Uh, shout out Canada. So, you know, cheering for Chuba Hubbard. And finally, we have Rashad Penny. Um, you know, he's coming off a major injury for the Seahawks. Uh, they held him out last year, so he's had lots of time to recovery, uh, you know, get up to speed. And basically, Seattle's offense should be high-powered again. Uh, and anything could happen to Carson at any point, um, and they might need him. And, uh, you know, Rashad Penny, he comes in with a first-round grade, um, you know, guy that they wanted to get involved, but, you know, had this injury. So uh guy to look out for in, you know, the high-powered Seahawks offense. All right, guys, so uh, thanks for listening to my deep sleepers for the 2021 uh, fantasy football season. Um, hope you drop a like and, uh, you know, share the video around. Um, I'm probably going to do some for the tight ends and wide receivers and some quarterbacks as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. All right, have a good one. Take care.